You are now tuned in to the network. The YouTube channel that takes complex networking topics and dumbs it down to a more simpler language. And today's topic is servers. No, this is not Groundhog's Day. This is a continuation of the last video. Last video, we did the theory of servers. We explained the role and the functions of this networking component. Today, we're gonna get our hands dirty and actually play with a server. Yes, me and also you guys will be able to play with a server. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna get our hands dirty with Packet Tracer. Y'all know I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for y'all could download this lab. And also, you can also download Packet Tracer for free from Cisco's website. Back in the day, you had to, you know, join the Netacad, uh, the, the Netic Net Network, Cisco Network Academy. Now it's free, so y'all can play with this. We are going to be using a TFTP server to upgrade a Cisco iOS image. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here is the lab we're gonna be playing with today using a tftp server to upgrade a cisco ios image let's take a look at this uh topology we got here we got this tftp server we have a local area network switch and behind th that switch we've got two routers here you guessed it one of these uh devices i guess these are the devices that we I haven't played with this lab yet uh so we're gonna be just doing this on the fly uh we're gonna be upgrading the ios on these guys right so part one here says we're gonna upgrade the ios image on a cisco device Part two, we're gonna back up an iOS image on a TFTP server. Remember, we talked about TFTP servers, right? We talked about it in the last video. Uh, if you don't know, if you want more of the theory behind it, you know, go and watch the last video. But basically, a TFTP ser service is a service that we use uh, to transfer files, basically. And the iOS image is basically the operating system on the, on the router. And we're gonna use TFTP to transfer it from the server to the router, right? A TFTP server can help manage the storage of iOS images and revisions to iOS images for any network. It is good practice to keep a backup copy of the Cisco iOS software image in case a system image in the router becomes corrupted or accidentally erased. How many times have you told your users, you know, back your stuff up, back your stuff up, back your stuff up, right? And then months later, they'll be like, hey, I lost my stuff. Well, did you back it up? Was usually their answer. No, right? Always more to back up your 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 stuff, right? Anyways, a TFTP server can also be used to store new upgrades to the iOS and then deploy throughout the network where it is needed. In this activity, you will upgrade the iOS images on Cisco devices by using TFTP server. You will also back up an iOS image with the use of a TFTP server. Why am I reading this to y'all? Y'all should have just y'all should have just went skip this part, right? Part one. Upgrade an iOS image on a router. We're gonna access the TFTP server, which is this guy right here, and enable the service. Remember. TFTP is a service. It's a protocol that we use. The server runs TFTP. Now, this particular server in Packet Tracer, many servers do this anyway. You run many services. So we launch the pack. We launch the server right here, right? Then we click services. Notice these are all the services that we talked about in the last video, right? HTTP, DHCP, DHCP version six, TFTP, DNS. Remember, DNS is domain name services. You map IP addresses to host names. Uh, syslog we use to you know keep our logs and date and timestamps of the logs and we dump it onto a syslog server all of these services right but we're going to be doing we're going to be focused on tftp today right so we go to tftp and then we're going to turn on this service right here and notice we've got 10 out of 90 percent complete so we're pretty much i guess 20 percent or maybe 15 percent of this complete remember that's why i love packet tracer grade you on this so we turn on the service note the ios images that are available on TFTP server. So we have all of these images right here. We have one for ASA firewall. We have an 1841 router. Which iOS images are stored on a server are compatible with 1841? Go back to the server. We've got one service right here. This is the K9 image, basically used for security. We've got this IP base one right here, that's two. We've got this IP base K9, that's three. So there's basically three uh, iOS images that are compatible with the 1841 model. From router one, Issue the show flash command and record the available flash memory. So we're going to go to router one, which is this guy right here. We're going to launch the CLI. Press enter. We're going to do show flash. I don't know if we can do it in that mode. Yes, we can. And this, here, this is how much space we have left on this guy, right? Because you want to make sure, just like a USB drive, you want to make sure you have enough space uh, before you try to back up the drive or if you try to transfer file on here. How much free space we have uh, used available right there. That's how much space we have. I don't know how to convert that into kilobytes or whatever, but that's how many, uh, I guess that's bytes available, right? Copy the IP base image with strong encryption iOS image, which is IP base K9 for the 1841 router from the FT TFTP server to router one. So we're gonna copy the image from the TFTP server 
to router one. How do we do that? Easy, the answers are right there. Copy TFTP flash. Now, back when I first started this stuff, I didn't really realize the syntax is, is whatever the action you're trying to do, like say copy or show or whatever, you do copy, right, and then from, and then to. So in this case, we're gonna copy from the TFTP server to the flash, or in other words, the storage space on the router. So that's what we're gonna do here, right? So we launch the CLI, we're gonna do copy. Actually, we gotta go into enable mode for this, right? So we're gonna do copy, TFTP, right? And then flash. Notice how fast I did that, right? Because I pushed the tab button. You only gotta press one or two letters and you press tab, right? You press enter, it's gonna ask you for the address or name of the remote host. Well, what's the remote What's the remote host? In this case, that would be the TFTP server. It says here the TFTP server is 192.168.2.254. If you don't know that, that's right over here anyway. We have a chart right here that's gonna tell us the uh, addresses for all of these devices, right? Go back to the TFTP server. I'm sorry, the uh, router one. The address was 192.168.2.254. 54, right? He's gonna ask you what the source file name is, right? Well, the source file name, basically what is the name of the file you're trying to copy, right? So uh, in this case, it was the, K, the, the K9 image, right? So we go back to services, TFTP, and it is this guy right over here, that guy. But see, I can't copy it and I don't want to make any typos. So I'm just gonna copy this guy right here. Control C, go back to the router, paste that in there. I'm gonna press enter. Then it's gonna ask you, what's the destination file name? What do you wanna save it as, basically? Well, I'm gonna save it as the default, what it says right here. And I'm just gonna press enter. It's gonna access the TFTP server. Is it gonna do it? Doesn't look like it's doing it for some reason. What is going on here? It says translating. We did turn on the service, so we're doing something wrong here. That's the file. Let's see, can he even ping? He can he even ping? Let's let's stop this guy real quick. Control shift six. Let's let's see. Oh, I put the wrong IP address. Y'all see that? So let's do that again. Uh 192.168.2.254. That's what happened. Source file name was this guy, press enter, destination, accessing, is he gonna do it this time? Now he's copying it. So I put the wrong IP address. I'm sorry for leading y'all astray here. Notice we've got 30 out of 90% complete right there. Uh, verify that the iOS image has been copied to flash. How many iOS images are located in the flash? How do we do that? We do show flash. And we have this image right here, which is the one we copied, IP base. No, this is the one we copied right here. This was the one that was in there previously, I believe, right? Yeah, that was the one that was in there previously. We copied the uh, K9, the, the encryption version, the security version, right? Use the boot system command to load the IP base image on the next reload. So here's the thing, when you're when you're downloading the iOS onto the, onto the router, you have to tell the router, I need you to boot to this iOS image on the next reload on the next reboot because it's not going to know if you got to you've got two uh, iOS images stored on here you have to point the router you have to tell the router what which one to load this time right so we do that with the boot system command right so uh, we got to go to global config mode right configure terminal right and then we do boot system and then we're going to do flash the answer is right there, right? And then from the flash, what is the name of the flash? That what is the name of the file we're gonna uh, we're going to boot? We already have it in my clipboard here, so I'm just going to type paste right there and press enter. That's what it's going to boot next, right? We are we could do that with. Uh, and let's see if that's compatible. Here, show boot sys, show boot. And I see this is packet tracer. It ain't gonna show. It ain't gonna do it. Now normally on on a real router. Or real switch, you type show boot sys, it's gonna tell you which one is gonna reload, which one, which iOS image is gonna boot up next. But I think you could do that also with show version. Let's see, show version. And on the next reload, no, that's not in here. It's not in there. 
It'll tell you why it got reloaded. System, that's the, the system file image name right there. That's what's that's what it's gonna boot up, but nah, it ain't, it ain't gonna tell you. But normally you do the show boot boot system and it'll tell you which one is gonna boot up, right? So it says here we wanna save the config and then reload router one, right? How do we do that? We do copy running config. I told I showed y'all this a million times. Startup config, press enter. We're gonna save that to our startup config. Now he wants us to reload or basically reboot. We do that with just reload. You type in read, well, you can't do reason. Um, you just type in reload, it's gonna reboot. Normally on a regular router or a regular switch, a lot, this is why I like hardware, you can see all the options that you can do. If you do reload, you type in reason, you tell the next person why you rebooted the system. Or you can put down, you can make it so that re it reloads like 10 minutes later from now. So there's so many more options, but packet tracer is limited. They just give you enough to pass the exam. So we're gonna reload, it's basically gonna reboot the uh, router. Let's cue our Jeopardy theme song here. So now that we've reloaded it, now we can just uh, do a show version and see which one it rebooted uh, to. It says here we want to verify our upgraded iOS image is loaded. Show version. And now, last time we had loaded what version we were in before it got rebooted. We were in version 120, it was basically 12.314, right? 12.314, the IP base image. That's what we were, that's what we were, uh, no, this is right, right here. Version 12.314, T7, right? That was the version we ran last time. Now, we rebooted it, upgraded, now we're running version 12.4. So that one's good to go. Uh, we've got only 13, 30 out of 90 still here. I thought it would've gave us, uh, thought it would've gave us uh, some more points for, for that, but I guess not. We want to upgrade the iOS image on a switch this time. So now this switch right here, we're going to upgrade, I believe, right? So we're going to access the TFTP server and copy the C2960 land base image to switch one. So we're going to go here. We're going to do the same thing. Basically what we did on the router, we're going to uh, enable, go to enable mode. We're going to say copy TFTP, right? Co copy from the TFTP to our flash, right? And what's the address of the remote host? The IP address of the of the TFTP server is 192.168.2.254. I'm gonna make sure I copy that this time. That way I don't make any typos, right? What's the source file name? They said the source file name was C2960 land base image. That guy right there. We're gonna copy that also so that way I don't make any typos again paste that right press enter and it says what do you want to save the file name as the same thing yes so we press enter is accessing the tftp server and it's copying the file boom it's done in the real world it ain't gonna be that quick but you know packet tracer unfortunately this is a simulator so they just do it real quick for you uh verify that this new image is loaded uh is listed first in the show flash output right so we do show flash and the image is right over that one right there. So this land based image, we was running this version right here, most likely. We could check by just doing show version, right? And we can see what version we're running. Right now we are running version 12.2, right? Or we just go up here, it tells you the exact image right here. 12.2, 12.2, 25 FX. One is the chain, the train, which was the version. There's, there's so many. There's actually, if you go to Cisco's website, I'll probably leave a link in the description below to tell you what each number means. You know, for sure we say version 12.2, but all those other numbers and letters, they mean something, right? It's the first image in the flash. Uh, we've got 60 out of 90% complete, so we about 66% of it complete. We're gonna reload switch, switch run and verify the new image has been loaded into memory. Now, they didn't ask us to change the boot system. So let's try, see if show boot can actually work on here. And uh, show boot sys. I guess it just don't, they don't have it on the, on the switch for, for packet tracer. So they don't want us to do it on here. We just need to reload and it's gonna do it. So we'll go ahead and reload. There's no options for reload here, right? It's gonna ask us, oh, do we wanna proceed? Yes, press enter. Reload, remember we last time we ran, uh, we was running, what version was that? I'll show y'all later. That's what it was, we was running this. 12.2, 12 12 25FX. 
we've reloaded and it's uh booted up and i think it looked like we run in the same version but let's see show version five looks like it's two five rfx so it looks like we are running in a different version there i guess it still looked like it says 12.2 but whatever i believe we followed all the steps there now we're going to back up the ios image to a tftp server on router two go to router two this guy right here display the contents of the flash and record the ios image so we uh you do show flash and the ios image that we have there is this guy right here right i'm gonna go ahead and copy that so i don't make any typos uh use the copy command to back up the ios image in flash memory to router 2 on a tftp server so we're going to say remember it's copy from where to where so in this case we're going to copy from the flash to tftp right from to from to remember that so we're going to do copy we got to go to uh, Caesar. <laughs> Y'all know what that is, right? That's basically the IP, IP domain lookup right there. When you make a typo, it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask you to try to translate what you type to an IP address. But I made a mistake there. You can get out of that with control shift. I believe it's Z or C. I can't remember. But anyways, we're going to go to enable mode. We're going to say copy from what? The TFT. No, from the flash to the TFTP server. What's the IP address of the TP, TFTP server? 192.168.2.254, right? Yeah, 2.254. And then I'll press enter. What's the address of the remote host? No, the source file name. My bad. Let's get out of that. Control Z C. So let's do that over again. Copy flow, copy flash. What's the source file name? The file name, pay attention here, right? Paste. That's the file name. What's the address of the remote host? 192.168.2.254. Press enter. What's the destination file name? Do you want to save it the same thing? Yes. We press enter. It's going to copy the file to the TFTP server, hopefully. And the file is copying over. Usually, that's how long it usually takes to copy a file. See, this is a larger file, I guess. And looks like we're done here. That mini file, it took us only six seconds to copy that file. Usually it does take a, access to the TFTP server and verify that the image has been copied over there. So now they want us to get on the server and verify that this image right here, C1900 is universal K9, right? We go to TFTP, TFTP server, see if it's on there, see, and it's right, C1900, universal K9, that's the image. I guess it wasn't there before, I didn't check, but basically it's co been copied over. That is all I got for y'all today. I hope that was a fun lab for you guys. Remember I said that there is no excuse if you want to learn this stuff. Packet Tracer is free, man. GNS3 is free. Now, you might have to do a little, you know, sketchy things to get the images or whatever, but even that's free. So there's no excuse if you want to learn this stuff. Hashtag lab every day. That is my YouTube page. That is my Twitter handle. I also have an Instagram, and I guess I forgot to put it in this image right here. Uh, my Instagram handle is also network bruh. So follow me on either of these social media platforms If you like this video, please leave a comment below um, If you want to see some more of this stuff if you if you uh, want, you know If you have any kind of constructive criticism or how I can improve these videos uh, You know leave a comment below if you like this video hit the like button uh, Or just share these videos on your social media platforms your Twitter's your your Facebook's your TikToks, whatever just share these videos you know, we just, I just like learning this stuff. I'm passionate about it. And that's all I got for y'all today. For now, please comment, like, subscribe to the network.